Those temperatures have dropped, which means it's time to flip your closet from summer to fall. Now it's time to purge some of those things you didn't wear. Helping us winterize our closet is stylist Abby Wood. So anyone is probably guilty of this. We have things in our closet we just don't need. Correct. Everybody has stuff that they don't need. Okay, so what are some of those things that we can probably put away or maybe get rid of until next spring? Okay, anything that has any type of linen in the fabrication can either mm -hmm. go into storage because that's too lightweight for right now and that's something that you're only going to wear in the spring and the summer. Any kind of cotton that is really lightweight, any kind of gingham prints, anything that's too much of a spring print can go away too. And all of your sandals, of course. Okay, so maybe we're breaking out those sweaters for this time of year mm -hmm. because it's cold outside, guys, face it. Um, some of them might be having an issue, so you've got a tool to help with that. Yes, so if you have super heavy sweaters, you wanna make sure that you are folding them over a hanger just like this in half and then putting the sleeves over the hanger to alleviate the stress of pulling all of the fabrication down. And also if you use these nice thin velvet hangers, it saves space. And if you have little cedar blocks, it helps from the little moths getting to your sweaters and putting holes in them. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use some of these yeah. tips in my own closet, uh, but let's say this sweater had some issues. There were some little balls. How do we get rid of those? So if any of your sweaters have pills, there are two different tools you can use. There is a sweater shaver. Okay. And a sweater shaver is for um, more delicate sweaters, more like cashmere. And what it's going to do is going to take all the pills off of your sweater. And then if you have more wool sweaters that are a little bit thicker, you can use this sweater stone, which is basically like a pumice stone. And it just kind of rubs all the pills off. And you can actually use these on knits too, not just sweaters. Okay, I think I could get a little crazy with that sweater. It's super fun. Shaver over there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and you recommend these to mm -hmm. keep away moths. Why does that help? Just because a lot of times people pull their sweater out and they're like, oh my gosh, I have a hole in this. Like, what happened? What? Yeah. And it's just because these little buggers get into your closet or get into your storage and they'll put a hole in your favorite sweater. So if you have these little cedar things on your hangers, it keeps them away. Okay. And then when we're drying, you've got some tips. Yeah. So these are wool fabric uh, drying balls. And so if you put these in the dryer and um, get all of your sweaters out of storage, it kind of helps to freshen them up. And also if you have like a puffer coat, something like that has like a featherweight, if you throw these in it, um, and you want to wash your coat, it'll help fluff it right back up. And, and it you helps can dry also, faster. Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you can also catch up on your juggling tricks, it looks like. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You and, <laughs> and you were telling me this is your winter survival kit. Yes. So I really don't like static. It's like okay. one of my biggest pet thieves. So I always have static guard with me. I also always have a lint roller with me because I can't stand it when there is hair on things or if there's lint all over, like especially if I'm wearing black. Just looks really unprofessional. It does. It doesn't look very polished and that's what I'm all about. And then I also have this suede weather protectant spray and this is great for all of your boots, suede boots, any kind of jackets, something that you want to protect from like weather and um, rain. And especially the last couple days, we've been seeing rain almost every day. Yeah, which is a bummer. Okay, so what are some of your favorite fall winter trends? So my two favorite trends for fall and winter is that everyone should have a little piece of leopard in their closet. And a because little... leopards are neutral, right? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. It's so big for this year. And everyone should have a little piece of red in their closet too, that little pop of red. Okay, well, thank you. It looks yeah. like we're hitting the mark right here, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, what are these used for? This is the one thing we haven't gotten to yet. Okay, so these are boot shapers, and what they are okay. for are for your tall boots. So a lot of people have tall boots in their closet, and they become slouchy, and then the, the leather kind of breaks down. So if okay. you can keep these in them, it'll keep them standing up and keep them nice. Okay, and that way our boots are looking as fresh as the day we got them, pretty much. Absolutely. Okay, we'll yeah. use that and our guard, and I think we're set. Yes. Well, definitely. Abby, thank you so much thank for all you. of those winter tips. Bill? Slouchy Boots, that's going to be the name of my new uh, musical, I think, coming to Broadway soon.